Let's start with GarageBand. Um, I am not musically inclined at all. Uh, my, my mom is, my dad is, my brother is. I am not. So I am... Um, this, this is coming from, if I can find my dang head jack so we can actually hear what's going on. Um, so uh, if for those who aren't familiar with GarageBand on uh, the Mac, uh, you have a bunch of instruments that you can sort of digitally compose music, and then you get a um, track listing where you're able to mute, uh, sort of edit things, put in transitions, and do stuff like that. There's a lot of apps included on that. There's uh, drums, smart drums, smart guitar, smart bass, keyboard, smart keyboard, um, I think I got them all, and then you're able to just record either your voice or actually plug in your guitar. I don't know how you do that, but a guitar player would have to tell me, and actually record and then put a bunch of effects uh, through um, the guitar amp um, part. So uh, I did eight years of key, uh, piano, and I still I barely remember anything, but I can uh, pretend. So we're um, in simplified chord mode right now, um, so it'll just let you sort of play chords and play around with it. Somewhere we can get an actual, um, so that was smart keyboard, that's why. So if we go keyboard, it'll be an actual keyboard. Um, and the touch sensitivity of this is amazing. Like, I very rarely screen up considering how small of a screen it is. Uh, you can play chords really easily. It's using the accelerometer to determine whether you're holding it down or you're hitting it fast or sort of more softer. Um, and like I said, I, I, I remember Linus and Lucy in sort of heart and soul. Uh, and I can't hear this, so I hope I'm uh, playing it right. And then once you record an instrument, and I uh, had a friend of mine who is a drummer, Travis Sisti, a Mahalo employee, already record, I'm going to mute my crappy guitar, uh, some drum beats. So I'll go ahead and play something he did. And it, he did this in, uh, so, hold on. Uh, there we go. Uh, he did this in about, it took, he's not an iPad, heavy iPad user. He doesn't own one. I handed him it, and within 45 seconds, he made this. Uh, now, he's a drummer, so he knew what he was doing, but that's still pretty incredible. Yeah. Um, and you're able to sort of, you know, uh, keep adding sections of songs and keep adding it on. So it's an incredible app. It's only $5. No matter what your music capability, I, I was having a blast, and I, I probably touched maybe 20% of the app, I feel like, and that was with me playing around with it for a couple of hours. Uh, so you're going to have fun no matter what. It's going to be worth $5 no matter what. I'd love to, I'm going to make my dad, who is a really, really good at music, get it and see what he thinks about it. Um, and I can maybe come back with that more expert review. But from what I've understand reading blogs from people who are Apple fanboys and also music people, they're they're just as enthralled with it as I am. So, well, I, I think you have to make us uh, this week an iPad theme. I, I will not be doing that, but maybe I can get <laughs> enough. I can hand my iPad to a drummer and to a guitar player and to a piano player, and they'll uh, put the pieces over it. And then I'll have a this week an iPad theme. That would be Made fantastic. in GarageBand. So that would be cool. So cool. absolutely no, I really recommended. Like, yeah, I really like GarageBand on, um, on my actual laptop. Let's just have laptop. this going the whole time. No, Why not? probably not. Uh, gives the show a nice little fun. So just an inc beat. an incredibly polished app. Get it. Period.